All right, I think we're live. Um, thank you, Andrew, for the great talk. Uh, folks, if you'd like to ask your questions, uh, please post them on the pad. And at some point in like a minute or two, we'll also open this big blue button room if you'd like to uh, join here directly and ask questions here. Take it away, Andrew. Uh, yeah, thanks. So uh, should I be reading the questions from the uh, the pad? Yeah. Um, yeah, that a, would be great. OK, so I, I see there's a um, question about is this uh, is this built into Emacs? I guess that refers to SQLite. Um, and is it possible to have multiple schemas, multiple databases? Yes, you could do all of that with um, Emacs 29. SQLite is built in. You can open up multiple databases simultaneously and do just you know the normal things that you could do with databases. You can create whatever tables you want. You can create um, uh, you know you can have transactions. Uh, so it's it's pretty full featured. There's with SQLite. There's also a notion of, um, you know, additions. You could like kind of compile new things into it, and I'm not exactly sure to the extent that that is possible as well. Um, so it's like how full featured of a SQLite is it? I'm not sure, but the basic stuff you can certainly do. So I, and, and that basic stuff is fantastic. Uh, next question is, what about collaborative editing with this? Can you have multiple computers with multiple Emacs? with org mode. Um, I think it sort of depends. Yes, I mean, databases are fantastic for having multiple users doing multiple things at the same time. And they're very, they're really um, designed for this use case. So I would say, yes, you could have multiple editing of the database, uh, multiple editing, that, whereas like you see some you know, multiple others. Um, probably not the best solution. I, I suspect it might be possible, but I, I wouldn't want to try it. I, I think it's better for like, oh, you, you can have multiple multiple processes, multiple users, perhaps contributing to the same database and you know, growing the database, but not, not such tight synchronous interactivity that I think you might be imagining here. Uh, what about using this on computers? How do you synchronize your data? I don't know. I need to figure that out. I think there's a, like, yes, you can synchronize your database in the same synchronous files. Um, Emacs doesn't have any great solutions for this. Um, that is like when, let's say I want to synchronize the things I'm editing on Emacs with my phone, uh, usually, you know, there's all sorts of various solutions. You could use, you know, Dropbox, Google Drive, these kinds of things. Um, the database makes that a little bit harder in the sense that it's one giant database. I suspect there are interesting ways to do this, but I haven't explored this area yet. I, I think it's a great question though, and I, I would like to investigate this further. Um, are you planning to further, this new other question, are you planning to further develop EKG? Um, it's highly me and I do prefer SQLite over text. Thank you for buying into, <laughs> buying into the vision. Uh, I really like to hear that. Um, yeah, I am personally using EKG. I am developing it. Um, I don't think it's ready for general use yet. Uh, I'd like to get it to the general state where it is ready for general use. Um, well, probably by the end of the month, I think I, you know, have a lot of time. There's a pretty slow month. So that would be, that would be really nice. I've, uh, I've just added a bunch of stuff to it. Um, but I'm kind of exploring, like, I think the difficult thing is not necessarily to make it production, like to make it a, you know, a stable and everything like that. And to do all the developer things that you know you you want to see let's take care of. but really uh there's just it's a different model of how to kind of have notes and i'm still thinking about some of these fundamental concepts it took me a long time to iterate on various kind of designs before i came up with ekg which i think was helpful and so we're going to really see how how this goes but yes i um look for it soon i'll probably announce it and uh maybe I'll and um, and then I will make it available probably maybe on uh, New Elpa is what I would like to do. Is it possible to combine the triples database with some custom tables in the same SQLite file? Yes. Um, um, I'm sorry. Let me continue reading. E.g., to build a log table next to the triples table. Are, 
or quick query of event data. Yeah, you certainly could do that. And I've been thinking of adding like, um, you know, just having a, a record of changes might be an interesting thing. But yeah, this, it's just one table. And you could, you really could use this one table called triples, uh, the triples table with any, you know, in any other database or with any other database. It's kind of designed to be its own database though. But yeah, you could certainly add things to the side. And I can imagine people writing extensions that do add some tables to the side to do whatever. It's just that uh, I think you want to be careful because that once you start doing that, you might want to, you, you, you don't want to kind of duplicate information or start having things go out of sync. It's kind of nice just to have one kind of data. But I think in certain circumstances, like the kind you're thinking about, it'd be appropriate. Yeah. So. Seems like seems like a good idea. Uh, and then I see this final question here, uh, final for now. What are your thoughts on adding a timestamp attribute to triple so that the database becomes append only, and by de default you return the latest fact for a subject object pair? Oh, really interesting question. Um, let's just say I hadn't thought of that. And I'll have to think about it. I, I don't think I haven't seen other triples databases do this, uh, I'd be interested in what you thought would be some of the, um, uh, what, what you thought might be some of the um, interesting at, uh, things that come out of this. Yes, you can maybe go back in time, which is nice, but then it seems hard to do things like deletes. I guess you could tombst have tombstones or something like that, but it becomes a little bit more complicated. Um, and also I, just one thing is like, these these kind of databases, I didn't really talk about this in the talk, but they they take up a little bit of room, and I'm a little bit reluctant to to have them even more kind of heavyweight. Um, on the other hand, perhaps this would go well with the question about synchronization. If you if you were to do as you suggest and have time stamped triples, uh, synchronization actually becomes pretty easy. So definitely an interesting thought that I'll have to think a little bit more about. I would love to solve the synchronization problem. All right, uh, I don't see any other, oh, um, yeah, I don't see any other questions, but uh, you can ask on this, um, on the big blue button or type in any other questions. Otherwise, I think we might be done. Cool, and I'll, I will add that um, I think we still have about like, I guess, 15 minutes or so um, of live Q&A talk for this talk on stream. Um, you know, if, if there are no questions, yeah, you're welcome to cut it short, but otherwise we have plenty of time. So yeah, if people want to get more questions in, please do. All right, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna sit back and wait for the questions to roll in then. Sounds good, thank you. I see another question pop up. Um, with um, EKG, what about views like org roam node mind map views? Yeah, I, I personally have not found those views to be super helpful, but I know people like them a lot. Um, I don't see any reason why you couldn't do this. It just would be a slightly different implementation. Um, like this stuff forms a graph. You can do whatever you, you know, you could you could easily transform it like that same org room UI. It would just have to have like another sort of um, translation layer basically to, to kind of like figure out how to deal with the stuff in EKG or really anything with triples. Like fundamentally it's a graph database. So it lends itself naturally to things that you're gonna be doing uh, that uh, anything you're gonna be doing with the triples library. Uh, I see another question. Can ordinary Lisp data types 
lists, symbols, et cetera, be stored in the database? Yes, they can. Um, in fact, it's primarily like if you don't specify anything, it kind of defaults to a list. Um, that's sort of, I'm not exactly sure that's the right design choice, but that's kind of, um, it seems like a lot of the times it this kind of makes sense. Like what if I just added like a title, I think, uh, if I remember, I, I did add a title, but I'm trying to remember if I, I just added the notion of like having a title, the EKG, and I believe that's a, a list because you, like, when you think about it, you could maybe have alternate titles and multiple titles. So these are ordered lists and so it kind of stores it. So basically what happens is you, you store it in the list of like, but each list item is a separate row in the table and it has, we call them triples, but there's actually one more column that I don't talk about a lot because it just confuses the story. But in this case, it's relevant because there you just say what the index is of the uh, item that you're doing it. So like, you'd be like, uh, you know, uh, you know, subject, and then the predicate would be, you know, um, title in a sense, and, and then like, you know, title one, and then like, okay, that's index one on the fourth column, uh, the fourth column, and then, you know, same thing with the other items. Uh, you can source symbols, you know, SQLite um, and uh, Emacs SQL uh, allow you to sort of kind of, well, Emacs SQL kind of naturally lets you store lots of different things, uh, and SQLite, I kind of had to do something that is very similar to Emacs SQL. Emacs SQL, you know, in, in SQL, you, you have to just, you know, just in your database, like it basically has to be a string. Like almost everything the, besides the predicates, like the object has to be a string because it could really be anything. And the, the, um, the subject has to be a string because it could be anything. And, uh, and because of that, uh, it's, we kind of have to make sure that we kind of have to just store things in a certain way. Like symbols are just strings and lists. Um, you could have a, you could, you could even have a, a lisp as a, a, sorry, a list. You could have really any list, sorry, lisp expression as a, uh, as a subject, right? Because, but it gets just written to a string and then it gets, when it gets read, it basically, um, you know, if, if it's a, just a string, it gets read basically as a list symbol or expression and if it's a um string uh, it's a string with a string inside that is like the string actually has quotes on this on e either end then then we say it's actually a string that's how kind of the internal implementation works and that's what emacs sql does as, as well for those who are not familiar emacs sql is like this um other way to kind of interact with sql in your in your database databases and it works well with SQLite and allows you to do things like store numbers and <clears throat> store numbers and Lisp as, as well. And it does, does this exact same thing. So we try to keep compatibility. Um, so you could, you could, you know, you could start a database in Emacs 28 using Emacs, Emacs uh, SQL, and then you could read it with Emacs 29 using the built in SQLite. That is the hope. I mean, I, I have tests, uh, but I don't think anyone has actually tried to do that exact thing yet. Uh, let's see, are there any other new questions? Oh, there are some. Beyond note-taking, what kind of packages do you think would benefit from a tr triple library? I think, I mean, I think it's generally just an easy way to store things. So anything in which you let's think of packages that have to store like lisp expressions on the side like for example like bbdb if you if you if you've used that it's just uh it is a database it's the big brother database it's just, like it's not in a database because it was written before like there was an easy way to use databases in emacs like that should that could definitely like you don't need the triples library, but you could easily do this in the triples library. And I, I would kind of encourage think that triples library, you know, it just takes care of a lot of things and gives a little obsession over everything. So uh, th I mean, uh, there's all sorts of things. Like as I as I kind of demoed, like bookmarks. Like why are bookmarks not in the database? They should be. Um, so I, I think if you just look around and look at all these all these pages or things as uh, as just just dumping dumping uh, Lisp expressions to a file, 
uh, those, those probably SQL light and and you know yeah, maybe triples would be a useful way to do that. Uh, are you another question? Are you trying to uh, PIM? I think that means personal information management with EKG. Uh, and what information do you want to manage? I'm explaining uh, how I what I want to do. But like as I just said in the previous question, like I think you should be storing everything. Yeah, you, libraries. Like yeah, as, actually. Yeah, BBDB, you can store contacts and email addresses. And I would like to, you know, why, if you're storing that, then it's kind of natural. Like, oh, well, you know, sometimes I want to have a annotation. I, I want to write something about this person. And, you know, maybe I want to have something and have, uh, uh, you know, maybe I want to tag this person. Maybe I want to, um, maybe I want to have notes that refer to this person. So, like, it all starts to look like one giant database when I, when you kind of think about it. A lot, which is kind of why in a if you look at the develop develop branch of triples, I am work. I think what's going to be in the next version is is going to be a standardized place to to have a database. That is, you can just connect to a to a the standard database, and you do, you don't have to worry about where the database is. We'll keep track of that for you, and and then everything should be um, working. Uh, very easily and like allow this kind of collaborative use of of these things so like yeah, it could be a personal information manager that has all sorts of information because i think that's what people tend to use emacs for is that uh you know i, I have my own notes my own contacts my own tasks you know why are tasks in tasks should also perhaps be in in, in the database like it, yeah it's kind of org mode is completely awesome like really incredible and it's it's nice to mix to do's with things with text, but sometimes maybe you just want to do's that are not with text. And maybe those could be also in the database. I don't know, it's just things, I, things I'm thinking about. I'm not sure how far I want to take that. Another question, what about using other database pro, uh, programs like Postgres, MonoDB? Um, you, so I think you could, yes, you could do that. Uh, I don't see it's a, I don't know why you, I, I don't know if there's any advantage to doing this. Like SQL light is kind of nice because it is light. It is kind of, it is built into Emacs and we don't really need anything incredibly sophisticated here. Just having a database is like such a higher level of sophistication than what we've been doing in Emacs are so far. Then, uh, you know, I think the other stuff might be overkill, but I, I see no reason why it wouldn't work. I just don't really see if there's really any big advantages. Um, what is your preferred reference to understand triples graph DBs? Um, to sort of think about better schema design. Oh, that's a really awesome question. And I would, I don't, I don't think I can answer that immediately. I, I kind of know all this stuff from talking to people basically, instead of like reading things. Uh, and, and like in my work, I use these triples. That is, that's kind of like, um, you know, I kind of work on a knowledge graph. So I, I just have a, from a, you know, working knowledge of how these things work. So, um, but it is an awesome question that let me, let me look into it after I kind of finish this and I'll, I'll try to fill it in, in the, in the ether pad that is um, connected to this talk. So thank you for that great question. Um, so another question, will it slow down with the growth of a database? Yeah, I need to do tests about this because I'd like to see like how much how much the database blows up, how much it slows down. For sure, triples is not the most efficient way. It's not even close to being a, a greatly efficient way to store data um, for doing any arbitrary things. But it, what it is, it, you're trading off um, standardization, which is so you get standardization, but you lose uh, you lose the power of getting things in one SQL expression. So you often have to kind of like do a bunch of round trips and that's slow. However, uh, I, I'm using this now. I have a bunch of data and, um, you know, quite a bit. I've I kind of ported over my org, org roam to, to EKG. And, you know, I've been accumulating stuff in org roam for like, uh, you know, two years now. And it's pretty big. But it's very fast, 
really just no no problems at all. So yes, I'm sure that there is a a, a size in which it's too big to be fast. Uh, but I haven't hit it, and I suspect for most ordinary uses of of um, of Emacs, I, I doubt other people will hit it as well. I mean, it's kind of similar to you know when people think about org Rome and things like, well, you know, you're storing everything in one database. Like, how many nodes could it possibly hold? Like, that's also going to get slow, right? So, yeah, it's it's um, I think these limits exist, but people tend not to hit them. And it's like, yes, this is going to get slow, but it'll certainly do better, I think, than files in the file system. Um, what are the, here's another question. What are your thoughts on allowing for a true GraphDB backend? Um, what are the current best free software alternative to Neo4j is, I, I guess. Okay, uh, great question. I've actually, yeah, I actually used Graph databases in several companies I used to work for. and. You know what? We always ended up switching to SQL. <laughs> I like it's, it's. Um, I can't. It's just at least for serious applications, they tended to be slow and lend themselves to a use that was not, that was very iterative and not very well thought out. So, um, however, I, I don't think it's. Um, as I said with the last question, for the way. People want to, you know, the kind of data I think Emacs users will want. I think a graph database would work quite well. Uh, I don't know if there would be like what are the advantages over triples um, aside from sort of just a more, you don't have to kind of even deal with the SQL layer. But like I'm kind of, I'm kind of building, you know, with triples we're sort of like oh, don't even worry about what the layer is, right? It's just you don't even have to worry about um, SQL if you're just using kind of the normal functionality. So you can. Um, yeah, so you know, maybe there are interesting implications for using a graph database, but I can't really think of any right now. It's a good question, though. Thank you. Well, and I'll quickly add that we have about, I think, two more minutes-ish on this uh, live stream. Um, and then folks are welcome to either join here for continuing the Q&A or keep posting questions on the pad. And you can continue here in this room after the stream moves on. OK, in that case, I'll, I will stick around until I don't get any more questions for a few minutes, then I'll probably um, log off. Sounds okay, great. Thank you. Um, how hungry did I get writing and, and recording this? Um, so I actually did a month ago. So like, um, I don't even, I hardly even remember what it was, uh, what that time was like, but yes, it's, it, it took a long time. These things, you know, these recordings are a little bit challenging. And in fact, I, I like kind of screwed up in several instances of the recording. And like, I just, I just don't have energy to kind of keep redoing. It's like, it's a long recording. It's also, I think I chopped it up into three bits. I'm not sure if it was that, is that obvious, but like, I guess new, notes for future pe people doing future sessions. It's like, um, make sure you have natural pauses that you can sort of just like record a segment because something would in there in inevitably go wrong. And then like, if you're trying to repeat a 20 minute talk, it just takes forever. Hmm. Yes. Oh yeah, the recipes, that's right. Yeah. Um, I, well, yes, I'm glad you, <laughs> I'm glad you enjoyed the recipe. This is great, you can put the recipes in there. Like one thing that I think is is uh, useful for, you know, regardless of what thing you're using in Orgrom or, or um, EKG or whatever, um, you know, when you're making a recipe, you know, record in your daily diary, like, you know, when you, what you did it, if it worked, like what, what, um, you know, what adjustments you had to make, how it turned out, how it could be better. Then like, if it's linked to the recipe, then you, you have a kind of a record of like, oh, these are, you know, not just the recipe, but like your experiences making the recipe. Like this is really powerful uh, because then you can see how, um, you know, you can kind of refine and refine and refine. It's really hard to do this uh, in, in other ways. Like if just you're just using your memory, you're, you're kind of like, well, it's, I can't remember what I did the last time I made this recipe, but like, um, you know, it seems a little bit extreme, but I think it's quite useful to use these note-taking applications for this use case. Oh, 
Okay, I think the stream has moved on, but again, you're all welcome to stay here and continue the Q and A as long as there are any questions. Yeah, thank you for your moderation. Cheers, happy to. Thanks again for the great talk.